Hi there, welcome to Crafty Kirsten. Today we are going to take some cute little clothespins, these miniature little clothespins. We're going to apply a washi tape cover and, not cover, but decoration on it and add a magnet. And this ends up being a cute little refrigerator magnet, uh, food closure. Um, you can use them for decoration on notebooks, whatever you want to do, page, page holder, whatever it is that you want to do. And this is super easy. All you gotta do is buy some clothespins. Um, I bought these little miniature clothespins from Walmart. Uh, I think it was $1.97 for a bag of probably 30. Uh, I also have these miniature magnets. Um, they are the perfect size to go onto the back. And then you can either, I don't like this clothespin. This one's just like not playing well. I may not do that one. Um, you're going to need some washi tape and what you want to do is make sure the washi tape is going to be a little bit wider than the actual clothespin. I've actually, I'm going to try and use this one. I haven't used this before, so we're going to use this wide washi tape and see how it works. You're going to need some uh, E6000 glue. You're going to, if you want to do a cute little shine um, cover, kind of like a shininess to the clothespin, my other one go oh yeah I put a clear glossy accents on top of it uh, not only to seal it but to also make it really shiny and bling blingy bling 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 and then you're also going to need some art glitter glue or even Mod Podge uh, whatever you want to use and it's pretty easy I'll do it a couple different ways um, we're going to start with this washi tape and what we're going to do, pretty simple, apply some glue on the clothespin. I am using my finger to spread the glue. And you just want to apply enough glue that it's that the cover, the top of the clothespin is, is covered. Like you don't want to overflow with extra glue because you don't want it splurting out on the sides. And then you just take a piece of washi tape. And I personally line it up on one side because then there's less to have to try and cut later on. And I am lining it up on the side that has the metal coming out of it because when this is dried a little bit more, I can flip it and it'll be easier for me to trim off the extra. But this is it. You just got to Apply some pressure to make sure that this washi really is sticking. One halfway done. Let's try and use this because this is super cute. I have not used this before, so I'm just going to cut off a piece of this washi. I don't know what it is, but I'm totally into hollow right now, holographics or the holographic design. And that is probably because of Simply Nail Logical. Um, her videos are awesome, um, and she's all into hollow, so, <laughs> hollow! So what I do is I end up just taking, again, the clothespin, and what I'm trying to do is I'm also looking at some of these clothespins to find the ugliest side. Like, this one doesn't really have an ugly side, probably this one, but again, um, you just, oh, that one's all funky. I don't know, I don't want to use that one. <laughs> Well, that's misshapen too. These are like all misshapen. Thanks, Walmart. Um, but again, just apply some glue. Spread it out. Apply your washi. And because this isn't doesn't have a straight side, I'm just going to put it dead center. Or closest to dead center. And again, rub the washi down. And I probably could have been smart about this and probably could have done this better where I end up being able to make two out of this one. Because this was wide enough that I could have probably put it on two. Yep, I could have totally used it on two clothespins. Oh well. So, because this art glitter glue dries pretty quick, I'm going to go ahead and start trimming the extra. So all we got to do is I flip it over. And then I take my X-Acto knife 
and I'm just trimming off the extra gunk, the extra washi tape that I know I don't need. Okay, and there it is. Then all I gotta do is take this glossy accents. Actually, before I do that, I want to do the magnet. So I'm going to flip the, the clothespin over. I'm going to open this E6000 glue. It's It's been well used, um, so it kind of sticks. I am applying the E6000 glue, just a dab, on top of that metal piece. And then I take this little mini magnet that I have. And if you can see on this mini magnet, there's a completely flat side and then there's a side with a divot, a little hole in it. So I'm putting the hole down. And then I apply a little pressure. Make sure it's kind of centered. Ah, as my E6000 decides to go out everywhere because I wasn't paying attention. And then now that that's down, now I can take my glossy accents and apply a nice super thick layer it doesn't even have to be super thick I just like it really really kind of shiny but you probably could do something like if you wanted to you could probably use some Nuvo drops or something like that instead of using washi just use the Nuvo drops on top of the clothespin and that would probably look super cute too but that's it set this to the side let it dry let's go back to this one and do the same thing curve out the excess that we don't need I'm hoping my face isn't in the picture the angle of the camera is hard to see all that gunk okay push down make sure that the edges of the washi are nice and rolled over the edge a little bit so that way it's not kind of sticking up okay again Take the E6000, ah, open, okay, apply some glue, I really hope you guys can see it all, and you, you generally want to apply a better application than I just did, I kind of got it everywhere. But if you don't care how it looks on the back, then put it however you want to. I use way too much glue on this one. Like seriously, way too much glue. It's kind of gooing out. You don't want it to goo out the edges like that. You want nice and pretty like that where you can't really see it. Okay. So last step. Apply glossy accents. Make sure you hold it from the bottom. Okay. Nice and thick layer. It's going to dry completely clear. So right now it looks kind of cloudy, but it will dry completely clear. Let's put that one down and let that one dry. And just because I said something about it, I'm going to go grab one of my Nuo Drop bottles. So, let's see how this is going to look. I'm 
going to take these two right here. And I'm going to start by applying the magnet first. So again, E6000. Let's take this into the trash here real quick. Okay. E6000, little dab will do ya. And again, on top of that little metal area on the clothespin. I just personally like to do it because then it will hopefully not allow that metal shaft, metal spring, whatever, to pop out. I don't know about you guys, but I've had those these uh, spring thingies pop out on me before. So by covering them both, both the top and the bottom layer, hopefully, hopefully they don't pop out so much. I mean, they are cheap Walmart clothespins, so you never know. Okay, so I don't need my glue anymore, so I'm going to put that to the side. Don't need that for now. We'll not need this. Don't need these two items, so we're going to put these over here. All right, so these are just a few of my Nouveau drops. I am going to try one with the jewel drops and see how that looks when it dries. And then I've got these crystal drops. I think I'm going to try with this peachy color. I want to do peachy or do I want to do purple? You know, I'm going to do the, the, the purpley color. And this one is called Pink Orchid. And this one is called Strawberry Coolis, I think is how you pronounce it. So pretty much we're going to do this just like the glossy accents. Flip it over. I have no idea how this is going to turn out. We will see. Let me fill this in real quick. Okay. I'm trying to be careful not to have it go over the edge of the clothespin, but I want to make sure I'm covering the clothespin enough. I think that's it for this one. Yep, I think that's it for this one. I'm going to set it to the side to dry. Ah. Oh yeah, with this you definitely want to clean off the tip, pound, down, pop out whatever. Ooh, I flirted somewhere. I don't know where. Pop out any air that you have left in here. And close her up. It's the best way to ensure that you don't clog the uh, the Nuvo drop. Okay, and again, sweep out some. I don't know if I like it with the jewel. We'll see when it dries. Because a jewel is going to be kind of a translucent look to it. So I don't know how this is going to come out. It might be cool. It might be stupid. Who knows? No idea if that's even going to do anything. So let's just add a little bit more. I'm trying to get it a little bit more balanced out. You know, and even a layer because I got some spots that are thicker than others. So, all right. Let's go ahead and set this to the side. I mean, it might be kind of interesting to have it where it is a little bit thicker in some spots than others. Don't know. Okay. Tap, tap, tap. All air is clear close her up now it's a matter of waiting for these four to dry and then I will get, take a picture of them 
once they are dry and we will see what it looks like. All right, see you soon.